All right, so let's see. You will want to go in the rendering panel, down here to render channels, click on custom and make sure you have material IDs selected. Then you can render. And once the render is complete, you can uh, save this. I did that already. And then switch in the view channel or view menu to the materials I material IDs channel. It will look something like that. It depends on on the values calculated for for the material IDs. Uh, at the moment, no control over that. So just the next steps will show you how to be able to use this. So with the uh, material IDs channel visible, save again. Make sure you select EXR and save out uh, your file name or your file with the with the pass. When you have done that, you can open uh, Blender. And in Blender, in the image editor, just open the images you want, both the render and the pass. So I already did that. I have the, both the box render and the material pass. Then to figure out what the ID is for the material on the ground plane, make sure you have the sample tool. And when you click where you know there is going to be the uh, ground plane, you will see here in the in the bottom of this uh, editor, you, see, you will see a value. It's uh, 1500 or 15,480. If I go to where we have the box, you see there's a different different value and different values for different objects with different materials, right? So this is the value we want, 15,480. Then in the compositor, we have two uh, image inputs. So uh, shift A input image, two of them, one set to the material pass and one set to the box render or the, the render you have. Then from the material pass, I pass it into an ID mask node. So um, it's going to be mask ID mask in the add menu. Uh, you pipe that image into the ID value. And then for the index, we set 15,480. And this is going to give us some kind of alpha value. And if we look at that, um, let's just look at it here. Uh, Correctly. Uh, right like this. Uh, you will see that um, where we have the index set uh, for the ground plane, like this, it's, it's going to be high and elsewhere it's going to be uh, low or black. And then we are going to use this as a uh, 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 we are going to uh, essentially flip this around and set it as the new alpha for our uh, for our uh, image result that we want. So we want actually uh, the ground plane cut out and and leave the uh, the box. So I, I do a compare node. So let's say shift a uh, utilities math and I set it to uh, by default it will be add but set it to compare. And now we compare it to zero and then have an epsilon of zero, 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 0001. This would be uh, uh, tight enough. And then uh, the, the image input, we add a, uh, it to a set alpha node. So it's a uh, uh, color set alpha. And the, the render, we connect, connect it to the image input and then the alpha that we have generated, so this is the new alpha, we have flipped it around. We are going to set it to uh, the image that we have. And now if we look at the image, uh, if I, oh no, that's not the image. It is the image, hang on. We should be seeing the actual uh, result here. Uh, this look better just before 
uh, recording. Let me quickly check this. So our image is still correct. Ah, oh, no, our image is incorrect. And why did it happen? Oh, I, yes, of course. So we want to have this one set. Sorry, I, I missed that I have the backdrop uh, drawing incorrect. So we want to have a color with alpha as well. So our alpha is this is our alpha channel and this is with the color. So you can see here now we have uh, essentially the ground plane cut out by using the uh, material ID pipe it through a mask and flip it around and then uh, set it as the new alpha to our image and then you should be able to render this out and save out the, the image with uh, just the box and the rest of it being alpha